Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got OPI. Check out the old geysers, and I'm going to put real feathers on it. It was requested by SO. I started off with Miltique's Formula 2, and here is OPI. Check out the old geysers. I really like this blue. It's like a grayed out baby blue, and it's got some shimmer on it that's just, it's so fantastic because what you that glow and shimmer you see in the bottle actually shows up on the nail so I'm going in with my first coat and now for a second coat I'm gonna just get this on here all nice and pretty like I am so excited about this manicure it's been a while since I played with feathers hi Woody how you doing it's looking awful sharp today I'm gonna top this with some Pro FX quick dry top coat and seal this base manicure in and let it dry down. I was so excited. I'm telling you, you just don't know how excited I was about this. Ugh. I'm gonna be using the Pro FX Quick, uh, Pro FX Sticky Base. I'm so used to saying quick dry. And I'm putting a decent layer down. I'm not doing a real dry brush because I need something for these feathers to stick to. And so I'm not being too stingy with it. I'm not glopping it on there, but I am, you know, getting it on there. Hi, Woody. How you doing? So I've got these little bitty feathers. I got these at a craft store. And I'm just going to pick a spot and lay it down and tap it down. Now you're going to get to see a lot of this because um, there's a lot of tapping as we go. You want to get that thing to lay as flat as you can and stick down into that base. Now I'm going to take my little pinchy scissors and trim off this excess so I don't bump it and just peel it up. And I'm not doing like the total cleanup right now. You'll see um, you'll see as this goes along how, how I do this. And I'm going to pick up, because you know I'm a ninny, I just cannot stand a messy workspace. I grabbed a piece of tape and got up that feather stuff. This is the American Classics Jealous. It's a very thick top coat or whatever you want to call it and I am brushing in the direction of the feather for the most part because I do not want to peel that feather up off of there or you know wiggle it around and make it look all you know out of place got some feathers that little little pieces of feathers that are trying to jump up I am also going underneath and brushing this all on and I'm not going to leave that hanging off there. Don't worry. It'll get taken care of. Now, I'm just going to tell you, you're going to see a lot of woody today. Because with this, you're going to want thick layers. And when I do thick layers, I get quite messy. And that's already kind of soaking down in there. So I'm going to go ahead and start on the second nail. I do the feathers on my ring finger, my middle finger, and my thumb today. Um, I got a little over... Uh, Woody again. I got a little over uh, ambitious, I believe. Uh, the last couple of times I've done feather manicures, I only did it on my ring finger. And this one I'm going to lay kind of off to the other side. Same thing. I'm going to tap it down into that sticky base coat so that it'll, you know, stick. It's not permanently stuck there yet or anything. We're going to have to encapsulate it with some thick top coat. I'm going to trim off that extra again, as much of it as I can get without cutting my own nail. Once again, I have to clean it up. I'm telling you, I cannot have a messy workspace. So I'm tapping it some more. And here we go again in reverse. Now, I'm telling you, first of all, I'm painting in the wrong direction, which is hard. And I'm using my non-dominant hand to do it with very ambitious today y'all I'm telling you this is just how bad I wanted to do this one because that was the hand that was free for something so once again we're you know playing with it now my tweezers are just disgusting they're covered in paint and little bits of sponge and I can't get that piece off so I'm just gonna go in with my fingernails and just try to slide it up there tap it down some more now this, this manicure is not hard to do, but there are a lot of steps to it. A lot of tapping, a lot of top coating, a lot of woody work if you're messy like I am. But in the end, I think the look is so cool that it's worth it. 
Um, I didn't need any real artistic abilities to pull this off. It wasn't like I was freehanding that feather. I was just sticking it on the nail. And now I am brushing in the regular direction for a minute. Oops, see, I'm still gonna have to do that way some. But you're just gonna wanna like, you know, encase that feather onto the nail. Woody again. I told y'all you're gonna say lots of him today. He really was needed today. And if you wanted to, you could place the feathers in the other direction. Now that these are dry and they've got that polish on them, that top coat, they're um, they're a little easier to cut. They're not wiggling around. They're not moving as bad. So I am going to go in and do a little bit more trimming. We're still not fine tuning this one just yet. And then I'm going to do some more mushing down. Clean off my scissors. Mushing, mushing, mushing. Tap, tap, tap. Push it in. I'm going to top it with some posh top coat. And we're still not done. I promise I'm not going to leave it all jagged like that. Just hang on. We're getting there. I got a little piece right there that's trying to stick up. So I'm going to have to work with that. But I love these. And I don't know if y'all have ever seen, they've got some like um, spotted looking feathers at the craft store. They're like hot pink and green and they got little white spots on them. Oh, I'm going to have to play with those too. I don't know that I'm going to do three nails next time. We might just do the one, but we'll see. But like I was saying, you could turn the feather around to where you're not brushing against the feather. You could flip them up and go from the top and you know do your trimming from that end and kind of trim the feather down in advance before painting you know and, and applying it and everything now I've got a hunk of stuff down here because I did a little bit of filing a little bit of trimming so I've got to get that off of there and now I can kind of encase that I did take a file to these I, don't, I guess I cut that part out I did take a file and I brushed kind of down with the file. I didn't want to file my nails. I just wanted to file that feather down. But look how cute. Very excited. Here's my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about it. I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself.